Hey guys, uh, so this is Jim with Ectothermic Dungeon and today we're going to change it up a little bit. So far most of what we've shown and talked about um, have been the ball pythons that we deal with. We also have Ackies and Dragons um, that we currently produce. Um, so we're going to be getting into some of that as well. Um, but today I figured I'd do a little quick video and show off some of the, um, some of the dragons that we have here. Um, this year was the first year that we produced the Zero. Um, so we went ahead and, well went ahead, I had purchased some animals. I, I got a female from Josh Dovenberger. Um, I picked up a leather triple hat, so hat for hypo, trans, and Zero. And through Eddie Pereira out of Florida, I had also bought at a different time um, a Dunner uh, triple hat. Um, it was one of them was 66%, but it did prove out. So now I have a, a male Dunner triple hat, hypo, trans, and zero. So we put those two together and get a whole myriad of different things, uh, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, so we've got all kind of combos in this clutch. What I'm gonna show you today is just uh, really kind of the, almost the epitome of the clutch. I do have one other animal that I will probably uh, show you as well, I'll have to get that. But I grabbed these guys and girl first, um, just to kind of give you a quick look at some of the zeros that we produced this year. Now, what I did find interesting is I had two clutches um, from the female and other than uh, one, the one animal, which is a Dunner Trans Zero, gorgeous animal, um, really purple looking when you look at her or him, um, all other Zeros had leather attached to it. So um, so just interesting that the fact that, and, I, and I've seen other people pairing, and I know it means nothing, but it's just interesting that the two clutches that I got other than this one animal, every other dragon, every other zero, that visual zero that was produced has leather attached to it. Does it mean anything? I doubt it. Just really, really strange. Um, and also the leather, um, when it's attached to the zero, does feel very, very soft um, compared to other, other Italian leathers. So again, I don't know if maybe zero in and of itself may have slightly smaller scales than the normal dragon. Not enough to be a reduced scale or anything like that, but when it's combined with leather, it just feels just a little bit silkier, a little bit smoother. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Let's take a look at some animals. So here we go. So I just got these guys out of their, their homes, so to speak, and I brought them over here just so that I could really get um, some decent light on them. Now they've just shed. But you can see, you know, they almost look like a shark skin. You know what I mean? Well, that focus looks pretty good there. Let's see if I can. You can see there's some raised spots of those scales or whatnot. They're just really, really cool looking animals. Um, these are all just leather zeros. Uh, the color themselves are a little bit different. Um, now this one here that's in center frame now is, uh, is the darkest of them all. The scales on that head just crazy. And then on the back. Ooh. Just really, really cool animals. Oh, sorry about that. These guys are always wanting to take off, go running around. So I'm just, I'm not really um, 
filmed them before or shot videos with them like this, but I just wanted to uh, kind of give you guys a look at some of the cool stuff that we're producing here. Um, but I'm going to have to, you know, trial and error with shooting these guys, because if I just had them out the way we do the ball pythons, these dudes would be long gone. They'd be booking it for sure. I mean, they eat just as well as any of the other ones. Other dragons, for that matter. I mean, there's, they're healthy. These guys, again, from that head-to-head -head pairing, um, these are all available as well. So if you happen to be interested in one, we have uh, pretty reasonable prices. Um, there is a female in here, and there's two males. And then again, I have that third male, which is a Dunner. Trans, zero. Which I'll go grab him and let you guys take a look at him. So this is that Dunner uh, that I was talking about. This is the male. He is a Dunner Trans Zero. Let's see if I can get in on his, his eye there. And he has jet black eyes. It's a really good, really good looking animal. Uh, he'll be a great breeder for somebody. Um, he is available. And, you know, there's a learning process with shooting video, um, you know, with what works and what doesn't work. Uh, we went through that process a little bit with, um, with taking pictures of the ball pythons and taking pictures of the, of the dragons and, um, you know, the Ackies are even more of a challenge because they're even more flighty. You can see with this guy, like at least in this container, he's not trying to get away, he's not trying to take off. And that's kind of, you know, kind of the way it is with the dragons. It's kind of hit or miss. You know, we get in on that, that tail, you can see how straight out all those scales are. Um, yeah, and then uh, the Ackies are even, even more of a challenge than the, uh, than the dragons. Um, just because they um, they just want to take off all the time, so you almost have to hold them down in order to in order to keep a hold of them and and such. But anyway, um, so this guy, the other three that you saw were, are all available. If you see something you're interested in, you can drop us a line below, and we can uh, you know start PMing you, uh, messaging whatever uh, whatever form of communication is easiest. And then kind of go from there and uh, see what works. Well, there you guys had it. Um, that is the well I zoomed in real lot. Like whoa, I flipped that around. So those are the those are the quick little video on the dragons. Um, just a couple that we have available and some of the pairings that we did. Uh, you know what the pairing was to produce those. Um, we'll go through. I have some more from that clutch as well that we'll be able to go through. Um, as, as time allows and we start doing more of these videos to really let you guys see what you know what we have and what's available again um, really appreciate you guys tuning in um, if you like what you saw hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that little dinger too and that way you know when we start uh, throwing out more videos thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one take care